Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Volvo. Volvo has officially made its last diesel car and it's put it in a museum. This is something I've never really heard of before, but it's very interesting and I'd like to get some more information on it. The Swedish automaker Volvo has rolled out its last diesel powered passenger vehicle. After a 45 years relationship with a powertrain and cranking out millions of oil burning cars between 2012 and 2016, these are discounted for a half of the company's global sales. But those days are over, and now the company moves to all an all electric future. Since 1991, Volvo made more than 9 million vehicles with diesel engine, but its records don't go any further back, leaving 12 years unaccounted for, and so the number is a lot higher in relative report. The final diesel power model was the XC90, a large SUV with a turbocharged inline 2 liter 4 cylinder engine which rolled off its production line yesterday in Torslanda, Sweden. The car will head to the world of Volvo Museum in Gutenberg where it will be displayed for anyone to see. So just to make it clear this article is stating they're not talking about Volvo's trucks vast diesel commercial trucking and equipment business that's not what they're talking about they're talking about the cars that Volvo is producing. Volvo will no longer produce diesel cars, which is very good of course, it is excellent. Now the Taurus Landa factory have been switched over to making electric motors for the brand's lineup of full electric cars by 2030. Volvo aims to be an electric only maker, making it one of the first legacy automakers to do so. Former CEO Haken Samuelson explained, over two years ago that to remain successful, they need profitable growth, he added, and I quote, so instead of investing in shrinking business, we choose to invest in the future, electric, end quote. Back in 2017, he announced then that Volvo would stop future development on diesel at the time when nearly half of all the new cars sold in Europe had diesel engine. Fast forward to today, that number has dropped to 12%. So let's see what electric has to say. They said, and I quote, it's good to see the end stage for diesel in the passenger car segment, which peaks in 2015, some 30 years after it's first achieved a double digit share of the European market. In the US, diesel never had the same traction due to the abundance of cheap gas. But in Europe over the past decade, bad buzz started to spread with growing concern over its poisonous emissions and the infamous Volvo and the infamous Volkswagen Dieselgate. We all remember Volkswagen Dieselgate, where Volkswagen vehicles, some of the Volkswagen vehicles, were cheating emissions tests. And that was a very fascinating thing. This channel didn't exist then. I was not making YouTube videos on EVs or investments. I was making YouTube videos in a different subject at the time. Now, with the electrification firmly taking hold, diesel engine development has all seas in Europe. Petrol burning engines are soon to see the same fate. In the new milestone last year, the number of new electric cars registration have exceeded those of the diesel power vehicle in Europe for the first time, according to European Automobile Manufacturer Association. Next year, the EU is tightening its restriction with 15% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2025 for both cars and vans. From 2030, cars will see a 55 reduction in emissions relative to 2021 baseline and vans will see a 50% reduction by 2035. All new cars and vans registered in Europe will be zero emissions, apparently. But in my opinion, this is always subject to change, in my opinion. So at the moment, this is quite big news in the automotive space, in the EV space, because it's not often an automotive brand announce that they have made the last petrol or diesel car. Granted, it's not petrol yet, but it says diesel, this is a good step forward. And it's really interesting to learn that apparently diesel cars were never that popular in the USA or in North America, apparently due to the cheap gasoline option. But we've always known that gas has always been a cheap commodity in the American states. So this is the vehicle in question. It is the XC90, I believe. It does look fantastic, of course. But you know, it's very interesting that Volvo is doing this because at the same time, their new Volvo, the large size Volvo EX90 is coming out soon. The Volvo EX30 is already out. I've seen it on the roads. It's incredible. 
what an incredible and beautiful vehicle. I've actually seen one of those cars on the road and I was a little bit because I did not expect to see a Volvo EX30 on the road anytime soon. But I was I was really happy to see that because I'm glad that Volvo and Polestar are taking the electrification of automobile extremely serious. This is good to see, this is good to know. And Volvo Volvo and Polestar are one of the few brands that take it extremely serious what they're doing and it's really motivating to see. So gone are the days of Volvo vehicles that are diesel. Very, very interesting. And what a beautiful car as well. It's sort of in a darker blue kind of color, but it's really, really nice. And of course, it's got a shimmer of silver in there somewhere. It's really wonderful to see. And this is in their factory in Sweden. As I've stated before, this factory is now outfitted to produce electric vehicles. They've been working on this for quite some time, slowly but surely converting this factory to an all-electric factory. And eventually it will be an all-electric factory. Volvo and Polestar are one of those brands. I would say Volvo more because Polestar is already an electric brand. But Volvo is one of those brands who fully intend to be there first, to be the first one to be an all-electric company. And what a moment would that be? Volvo likes to do this. This is what they do. It kind of reminds me that Volvo produced the three-point seatbelt and they could have patterned it and keep it to themselves. But out of safety for the general public, they decide to make this pattern free for all vehicles worldwide. So Volvo, possibly going to be the first fully electric automobile company from a legacy automaker, it is a strong, strong motivating message that they're sending to the world of automobiles. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.